So one of my main problems with the Mini 3 Pro is the uh, automatic ascend, which is, I don't know, but when I push the stick forward, it just climbs when the obstacle avoidance is put to bypass. So again, after the um, DJI Fly App 1.9.9 update, I have again uh, calibrated the IMU and the camera and just the entire drone. So this is gonna be the last last test before i factory reset everything and hopefully that works out so let's get this up and let's start with the first one which is the obstacle avoidance sensor and bypass this is the biggest issue and this is what i want to test with this latest uh, update and see if the connection between the dji rc controllers latest firmware and the dji fly 1.9.9 and the latest firmware of the mini 3 pro if all of that is connected and if this is actually a fix for this and we're also going to check out the other main feature which was recently added the tripod mode or the the ability to control the flight speed of the different modes here <laughs> we are in normal flight mode and the bypass is on so let's push this stick slightly forward here still maintains the altitude of 20 meters and push it fast forward 21 22 and 30 meters so okay 41 meters 42 meters uh, basically nothing nothing has improved still the same so that leaves me with the conclusion that i need to uh, actually factory reset my mini 3 pro just to see if that helps and if that improves it it goes straight up again 30 meters and if i now again with the latest dji fly app put it to break and push it straight forward it's going straight forward and the height is still 32 meters really really strange now let's see what happens if we put it over to sports mode uh, sports mode will deactivate the avoidance sensor so this should maintain the same height and yes it does 13 meters in height let's turn it around here and let's go over to tripod mode or cine mode which um, i lowered down to one meters a second so if we push this forward 13 meters in height now will it go up or will it just stay in place so it seems like this is uh, working perfect it maintains the height of 13 meters and if we go over to yes it's set to bypass so it looks like the problem is in normal flying mode because if i now switch to normal do the same thing just push it forward it will start to ascend so now from 15 or 40 meters over to 30 meters and it keeps on climbing so i'm a little bit unsure but i will definitely contact dji and uh, see if they can address this issue but first i will do a factory reset and see if that helps so clearly there is some issues with the sensors on the Mini 3 Pro and I just confirmed a full factory reset and will be doing another test pretty soon. But this has been an issue that I've had for three or four months now and I just can't seem to figure out what the issue is. So if you had the same issue or currently have the same issue and if you have a fix for it please let me know down in the comments below but other than that i did some tests with some different flight modes as well and spotlight and point of interest was just performing as usual and i didn't experience any issues other than a few jumps up and down due to high wind so overall, the performance of all the features like photos, quick shots, tracking shots, and normal video performed just as normal with the DJI Fly 1.9.9. I also did another active track test, which I really love doing, and this performed just as good. And the tripod mode actually performs better than I expected, even in high winds. Though for a cinematic sequence, I would prefer to add some extra stabilization in post, just to get rid of some of the jumps. And as for the end of my testing, I also wanted to do a return to home because I think this provides a lot of value to those that are using it and I wanted to see how accurate it was. And I must say, it did return home, uh, that was the good thing, but... Set. 
seven meters off. Wow, I don't even remember or think my Mini 3 Pro has been this bad when it comes to return to home. But like I said, I really enjoyed doing this test because I think it brings a lot of valuable information for a lot of you, but personally, I never use return to home. If I do it, it's only to get the drone as close as possible before I manually land it. Seven meters. Wow. This was only a one time return to home test though. So if I had done multiple tests, that would probably give me some different results uh, in better or worse. But overall return to home, it returned to home, but mine was seven meters off. And I think that is a little bit off if you ask me. But other than that, if you haven't updated yet, make sure to do so, so you can go out and test tripod mode and fine tune the settings throughout the weekend. And again, a huge thanks to Philip Bloom for making this possible and for pushing this to the Mavic 3 Classic and the Mini 3 Pro. And if you're interested, all the shots that you saw in this video, which was from yesterday and also today, all the color grading was done with my signature LUTs, which you can find down in the description below. And the motion graphics here on the screen is also available for Final Cut Pro with full customization. So make sure to check those out if you're interested in uh, getting the best option for your drone's footage in form of color grading. And if you want to make a simple color match with your different cameras. So links down in the description below. And uh, with that said, thanks for tuning in and I hope you found some value in today's video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, that would also be appreciated. Until next time, take care and fly safe.